Okay, so UHF 70 centimeter EME moon bounce in the backyard with the weirdest setup you've ever seen. Take two action. And it is midnight. So, <laughs> wife's in bed. I'm just trying to get another opportunity. This weekend was the um, EME moon bounce, you know, EME contest. And man, when I, if you look at this, this is the uh, HB9Q chat, uh, logger chat website. Look at all the people that were logged in. China, all kinds of stations, right? And people were making contacts here and on 1296. Look at the list on 1296, man. It was deep, right? And uh, they only come out in contact, or contest. So being at the contest is, uh, um, you know, over and it's not happening until next year. You won't see a lot of these stations anymore. But, but Frank is on here, NC1I. I told you that's the only moon bounce contact I've ever made. And I've been trying to do it tonight. I'm gonna to show you what I have set up, but my my signal was being bounced off the surface of the moon and received by Frank, which he's a big gun. But he is saying right here, you are consistently neck 21 and neck 23, which is excellent for what you're using. Um, so he's got 48, 18 element UHF Yaggies, I think, in like 500 watts. What I have is a 705, which is propped up by my rig expert. I, I ran out here like an hour ago and set up with hard line. Couldn't find some of the cables and stuff. So this is, check this out. 705, the uh, Mirage 1010 down here, which is, yeah, it's pretty cooking. Um, with the Astron underneath it. Because that, that feed line doesn't bend. So it's staying here. Extension cord, this was all just temporary, right? Um, and I got the antenna set up facing the moon through trees and of course oh well, now the trees are gone i was i was right there in front of the trees and power lines right but he was receiving me on his end um so technically and all i would do is this i look down at antenna i go like this watch all right that's a very very archaic way of doing this but right there every couple minutes i can do that and by next contest, uh, I'm going to have something set up way more easier to use. Maybe an automatic um, antenna rotor, as L rotor, right? But you can see here, right now, you know, if I move the antenna over here, i got a clear shot through everything. So it depends on where your antenna is sitting. But anyways, the cool thing about it is with this modest setup right here, I mean, he says right here, you are consistently minus 21 to minus 23. Um, my problem is this, because he, I should be able to, to work him, no problem. My problem is this. I got, I've been playing with this waterfall. I can't figure out what is going on. Is this a band pass thing on my radio? I tried to mess with the, the, the band, you know, band pass. What's happening is, like, I was receiving and transmitting over here, you know, but I got this noise here, and I don't know where that's coming from. I started messing with, with uh, different things down here and changing everything. And he sent me some websites I need to go through and look at, which are very valuable. I'm going to go through them. I tried playing with some stuff. Um, but that's that's the problem I'm having here. When I made the contact with him earlier this summer, um, the, the moon was directly overhead. And um, that was my first thing. And, I, and the waterfall was messed up then too, but it didn't look like this. So I think I want, you know... 2,000, 2,500 hertz like this with, with, you know, and then I'm receiving and transmitting at 1,500. But here I'm all the way up to 4,500. Um, I, I try shrinking it, but this line stays here. And then I was, and he's like, no, that's that's not going to work, dude. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I admit defeat. However, um, you know, I have some, some readings to do. But the fact that I can... With the antenna in the backyard, so here's, if I go down here, he was saying, right here, say, so, um, I told him I was transmitting, and he said right here, I've decoded you every period, anywhere from minus 22 to minus 29. He's been trying different polarization angles. I have the ability to, to change to left-hand and right-hand polarization by applying a 9-volt source to it in the relay collection, you know, but I haven't been doing that. I think, I think by default, antennas will default to like right hand and so he can switch so i stay easier to stay where i'm at at right hand circular polarization to the moon and he can compensate on his side he can rotate all of his i mean polarizations and everything he's got a huge massive setup but 
I guess um, I, the video that you can see in the past where I did make contact, it did show up here on WSJTX on that video. Um, it did exchange, you know, it's, the method is Q65 is the mode, uh, 60 second transmit receive, sub mode B. That's where I was on. Now, if you have a lot of better signal, better station, a lot more better gain, you can do 30, right? And then I guess, you know, C would be for 1.2 gigahertz. So there's settings there. But anyways, let me say goodbye to Frank and let me say goodbye to you. I got bugs out here. It's midnight. Here's the time. It's midnight. And um, at least I was, again, able to, with a backyard crappy setup like this, um, bounce the signal off the moon. Like, very, very archaic wise, archaic style. And he also said, I asked him, I said, look, if, if I get my receive set up correctly and um, I can start decoding people and you have that many people in a contest, will there be anybody else that I could make contact with except him? Because he's at 48 Yaggies, that's a big deal. He said, yeah, there'll be at least a dozen that have similar stations to him, some that are a little less than him, that will be good. So if I get, if I'm hitting the moon, and it, right now, and it's up to me to be able to receive a big gun on the other side. Just because Frank is receiving me is because he's got a lot of gain and a lot of focus on that moon uh, with my little signal. But my little signal is making it there. So that's that's rewarding to know that, you know, when I figure out all the logistics of the waterfall and I got my time synced, I got, you know, the, the Doppler on and all that. But when I get this figured out to where that will you know work consistently next contest next year i'm going to be on and it's going to be awesome i'm going to have something set up differently than this maybe uh, uh as l rotor you know that's and maybe another i'm going to try a different antenna and an as l rotor maybe i'll stack the antennas then i'll do 1.2 gigahertz if i get a good lna and find um or a dish you know we'll see how that goes but anyways at least hey my signal bounced off the surface of the moon once again seven three